here's the video review for the Dark of the Moon, uh, Dark of the Moon, Dark of the Moon Human Alliance Basic Helicopter. Uh, we don't have his name yet, um, but it is just kind of a little rescue chopper. It's got a little personal chopper. It's got some little clip-on machine guns. Cool, and it's cool. They are little clip-on weapons. You can see they clip on there, but they also have two clip-on ports on them as well, uh, which is kind of cool. And it also comes with this little soldier guy. Uh, also looks like he's reusing a body. Um, the head doesn't look like anybody familiar, so uh, we'll see. Also, you can actually rotate his hands at the wrist. Um, so I don't know if this is actually a character in the movie or just generic soldier guy. Uh, but yeah, you know, blades spin freely. Nice little chopper mode. Now before we get into robot mode, uh, you'll notice he does also have the mech tech peg like the... Uh, the dune buggy did, and that's actually a, you, this one. This one's even cooler than the dune buggy. I think the the robot mode is a little weaker than the dune buggy, uh, but the uh, weapon mode is certainly not. Um, go ahead and flip that out. Flip these up like this. Uh, flip the hands down like this. Uh, flip these up like this. And then you're gonna want to come back here. Unplug this. Fold this up and back. This should, this should collapse. There we go. You can collapse this up. Uh, I had this collapsed up better earlier. Oh, well. Oh, there we go. Something like that. Bring this forward. Uh, fold this up like that. And then you bring these, uh, these little tabs on these helicopter blades that all peg in together. I mean, very much like uh, Don Figueroa's Dominic Megatron design, you now have this... Uh, Yep, pop the head off. Hold on. There we go. Um, fold these down. You can fold this up a little bit too. Uh, if you have a character big enough to hold it, you now have, uh, if you use the mech tech peg, a pretty cool little uh, rail gun here. The spins, a machine gun. However, now one of the cool things about this is you can actually I lift the arms up a little bit. Uh, like here's a character like Shockwave. Here's his mech tech port. You can actually slide his hand in. And uh, actually, how did I do this earlier? Hang on. Let me peg this. Oh, I think I had the arms folded in like this. Yeah, there we go. Um, you can actually give Shockwave another giant cannon arm, and I think that's really cool, is this underslung, uh, this giant underslung uh, rail gun on top of it. He's got the one gun arm over here, and you can see uh, like it, it, with his arm up here, it really integrates really well. This looks like he's just got this giant, aside from the colors, it looks like he's got this giant, um, just giant Gatling gun on his arm. So that's kind of cool. I love. I, whoa, whoa! Bump the camera there. Um, so that's really cool. I really love the uh, the weapon mode on this guy. Yeah. So yeah, and then the robot mode. You just want to. These are going to form the legs. Just fold these down. I'll flip in these little pieces right here. We're going to rotate these around, then rotate the skis around. And that'll give them some knee movement here. Can rotate the knee around, rotate the ski around. He does have ski feet, which is kind of cool. Um, you want to rotate, get the arms up. You want to rotate this piece back up, back up where it was. I'll flip this piece up. That's going to be his crotch plate. Here in a minute, I'll lift this up. This plugs in like this, and then you plug, slide this all the way up, and this folds down. And you see that little peg right here goes into that hole right there on the front, like that. And then you bring this whole waist piece down and around, and up like that. And then the arms split and come forward. And um, then you can take the uh, clip-on weapons and clip them on up here onto his shoulders proper.
And the, this piece actually here is actually removable. You can slide it off this little black piece um, if you if you don't uh, want it on there, um, or you can. Uh, this piece does uh, flip down onto the back, so you could open up the blades. You could have them like that with a giant jet <laughs> jet engine on his back. I guess if you want to look at it that way, uh, but you can't open up the blades and have them kind of posed crosswise on his back. I'm going to turn his head around here, and you'll notice something. Uh, Vaguely familiar about his head because um, his head is uh, from the uh, Beachcomber Crankcase Dune Runner uh, Scout class figure. This one's actually from Crankcase. Um, the colors matched um, because I got this guy for free because he actually did not come with a head. Um, <laughs> yeah, kind of silly. Um, and again, here's the Human Alliance guy. Um, so yeah, but there, there's a good, just a look at the robot mode itself. Um, so I, I improvised a head. I actually, uh, the head's actually one that would have to peg into the body with a peg in the head. So what I did was I uh, popped Crankcase's head off, um, cut off his neck peg uh, from his figure, turned it upside down, stuck it up into his neck and glued it up in there, and... Um, now he's got a head, and it's, it's a nice uh, piloty type of head. So and it's silver, and it looks like it goes okay with the figure. Um, but that is not his final head, um, so uh, we'll we'll see what it looks like. But it doesn't look bad um, with the body itself. But just to give an idea of what he uh, what he would look like in robot mode. Um, and you could, if you wanted, you could uh, you could just pop the head off. And turn, you know, transform the cockpit here into the cockpit mode, and have it be kind of a helicopter mech for uh, for this guy if you wanted. Uh, kind of like the, I guess, it look kind of like the mech from Avatar, I guess, if you did that. Uh, I haven't done that yet though, so. But yeah, there you have it. Uh, there is the helicopter, dark of the moon, dark of the moon. Can't talk tonight. Uh, Human Alliance basic with uh, soldier guy. Then just as a real quick, oh, you're going to see it in the pictures at the end anyway. I was going to say, I was gonna, I'll show them with the dune buggy, but that's what the last picture is. So, surprise! <laughs>